seven into the Casey Glam Show, period. So I had a very eventful weekend. It is now Sunday the 17th. And um, you can tell the wig is pushed back. Um, but so today I'm just gonna tell you guys how my weekend went while we get ready for bed pretty much um i'm actually about to shower right now and then we're gonna do a little skincare and everything else so let's get into it okay so we are back um i think i'm starting to actually like this up because why this my second time doing this video like this but i think i'm really starting to get into filming at nighttime because i have more time i'm more relaxed um i think I think I'm going to probably change my schedule to Sundays, but we'll see how that works because Sundays are usually like my off day or like um, I spend time with my boyfriend a lot of time too. So, but we're most definitely going to figure it out. So, before we actually get into my eventful weekend and talking about that, we are going to do an unboxing, and this video has been sponsored by Renew You Body Letters. Period. So let's get into it. Um, I kind of already know what I'm getting, but this is my first time trying out these products from her brand. So far, I've been loving the results. I have went maybe like two weeks without uh, skincare since I really like used it all. But if you haven't known already, you know now I am a faithful renew you body leather skincare girl period so this hot package came and this is what's on the inside period okay came with a she had a thank you bag and she gave us another card it's i i like this she has so it lets you know the bath and body line, the different steps and the orders to do it, and then the facial line, so the different steps and stuff to do it. It is, um, it's giving the same thing that the good molecules use with the Ulta sign. I love that. Um, I love things like that. Most definitely a number one in something that a brand, a skincare brand should have. Because a lot of people don't know anything about skincare and they don't know what order to actually do it in. They also gave me business cards. So let's get into the actual products. So the products came like this, very packaged very safely. So we're gonna see what we got. I'm gonna open the big one first. It's packaged very well, enough. and it's also wrapped in with bubble wrap. This is like, I'm telling you, for business owners to have to do this with products, that's how you know these shipping companies do not deliver stuff safely. Ooh, okay. So this here is the body scrub. I love the packaging, it's so cute. This is how it came. It came in this cute packaging, very luxurious. You can actually see the product at the top and everything. I think I'm gonna love this. The next thing we're going to be unboxing. Renew your body butters. You came in clutch. Now I have a two turmeric soaps. This is gonna last me two months. Baby, I use this so faithfully. We're gonna throw out the dove bottles now. I got two. And we have one last thing. This is the facial moisturizer. It does smell good. It smells just like the serum that I have. It smells really good. I don't even know like how to explain what it smells like, but it just knows it smells good. So we're gonna get 
right into the cleansing, the removing of the makeup, and everything. So the card says to start with a facial wash, the body scrub, the toner, the serum, then the moisturizing oil. I only have the, um, the soap, I have the body scrub, I have the toner. Um, no, I don't have the toner. I have the serum and I have the moisturizing oil. So I'm guessing next time I will be getting the organic serum. So I mean the toner, just so I can actually you know, do the full skincare thing with Renew You Body Butters. I am obsessed. Um, I actually was going to use my Good Molecules um, overnight treatment and stuff like that as well, but I decided to actually just make it about Renew Your Body Butter today. So this weekend, we've been starting talking about it. I'm gonna wet my face first. And this glamour, please ignore the wig. She's gonna come off tonight. This weekend was very eventful. Friday, me and my brother went out. We went to Boys Town. It was very fun. It was a lit, to be honest. I love Boys Town. I love going out. We went to uh, this bar. I think it's called Progress Bar, I believe. It was so fun. Um, fast forward to Saturday, the day of the event. I wake up like very hungover, for one. Um, Cause baby, we had a time last night. No, but so I woke up very hungover, um, very much so, very bad headache and everything. So I was not like really feeling well for the event. I did wake up early. So I was able to get things done for the event for sure. But I was just, I was lagging, I was dragging and everything. And then there were so much things that we as a team um, ha had to do with the event as well. With setting everything up and all of that. So, as I'm like getting like balloons done and stuff and making sure that I'm ready by the time I get there and I can just change it to my clothes when I get there. I asked the owner of the place if we can actually set up early like 30 minutes he says yes so he tells us to contact his assistant I contact his assistant the assistant is not replying i call the owner back the owner um does not answer and ask what's wrong so the assistant um before i even get a chance to reply back to the owner the assistant sends me a notification stating that they have they had a doctor's appointment and they won't be able to be at the venue till 145. So immediately, I'm upset because for one, originally we were told that we can come in to set up at 1.30. And I asked for extra time and they said that I can come in at one o'clock. So with the assistant basically saying that I can't come in until 145 doesn't work. So we're, uh, we're basically going back and forth about the conversation and the situation. And the assistant is basically giving me mouth and saying like, oh, we're supposed to book um, extra time for you to set up and this and the third, but you're not. Because I was stated by, um, I believe it was the owner, not the assistant, but I was stated by the owner that we had 30 minutes um ahead of time so the event started at two they said that we can come in at 1 30 to set up which is cool that's fine even though i did need extra time so we were basically just going back and forth and uh he ended up like working out with me and stuff like that whatever but yeah that gave me a headache well now i'm about to rinse off my face we're really trying to get this makeup off so i'm gonna Watch two times, but after that gave me a headache. Um, I wasn't really running behind time, but time was just moving quickly. I was getting, I had to finish the balloon garland. I had to make sure I packed up my car with everything that was needed to go to the venue that I had at my house, and as well help my friend, one of the team members, with 
their wig and stuff like that so i did my hair i did a natural beat on my makeup which was like really really fast um but yeah i mean i was i was cute i'll insert some photos i was cute but i didn't look the way that i wanted to because of time and me having to set up and do a lot of things and i was also the decorator so with putting the table the candy table together and also setting up the backdrop to go on the candy table which we ended up just using for photo ops anyways but i was supposed to do all of that so another thing happened with the area parking is horrible so we were looking we're looking whatever but at the time that i looked to find parking before i even booked the venue there's a lot of parking on the next main street over which is why i was okay with booking that venue and the day of the event well actually the day before they started putting up no uh tow zone signs like no parking signs that wasn't even there before because of like street cleaning and stuff like that so it ended up being very 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 hard looking for parking it took me at least like probably an hour to try to find parking in that area and not only that i was like literally putting things together like doing the candy table and doing the backdrop by myself um i was putting that together literally in my pjs in front of guests and everything after a while i honestly didn't even care that i was like setting up in my pjs because i know i'm just gonna be cute anyways and i know what type of girl i am and i know that i'm a baddie so but <laughs> but yeah i was walking around like that and putting things up and setting up for the table and everything i'll show you guys what it looked like but everything came out cute and i was happy about it and the event was nice and the assistant did give us extra time um at the end to actually like gave us like an extra 30 minutes the event so everything came out really well with the event and everything so after that i mean no during we did have like some wonderful speakers that came i had um our head admin of the boss lounge she spoke at the event and as well there were two other speakers um i really liked it i think having speakers at events is very great like you know sometimes we need that extra push extra encouragement extra talk um with women wiser women or just women in general that understand or, or are within our field and that actually like help us like realize that what we are doing yes it's hard but it's most definitely worth getting through and that's what i got out of the speech and it's something that i really really needed so if you haven't ever been to a network meeting most definitely go especially if they have speakers it's always good especially when you have like maybe say like seasonal depression or i would say entrepreneurial depression i feel like that's literally a thing because we can go from having um five hundred dollars in one day to like zero the next so it's it's really hard so actually networking events are great um in that aspect for sure when it comes to the speakers outside of that um after the event it was fun really nice we had food and everything um later that day we ended up going out so now i am about to use the renew you body butters body scrub going to exfoliate this stuff is like it's thick but it, it's not it's not like you know how like some products are like heavy and oily it's not that at all i should probably do this over my sink so after that was the after party we were going to go to el jefe el jefe is a bar on uh, hubbard street i've been there before it's very fun very diverse crowd in chicago 
and I like that place. I don't go as often, but I do have a good time when I am there. So, we were going to go there. We get in the line, and they end up telling me that I can't come in with my slides. For one, El Jefe hasn't had a dress code the last time I was there, literally. So, they tell me I can't come in with slides. The slides are the gold fashionable slides with like gems on top. I'll insert a picture, but they're they're very cute. But usually people have dress code policies because, you know, they don't want like any issues. They want a certain type of crowd and when you wear a certain type of attire, they notice that you're either like not there to start a problem or have a problem. But then they do want you to look a certain way to avoid that sadly. And me wearing those slides is like, baby, I can't do nothing in these slides. These are cute, these are cute girl slides. What am I gonna do in these slides? I was gonna go to my car. I wanna rinse now. The body scrub feels really, really good on my skin. Like my skin feels great. It feels pretty moisturized. Ooh, on, on top of being cleansed too. It feels good. I'm very satisfied and I already have a glow. Literally, like I am in love. I don't know, I really fell in love with skincare. I wish I could fall in love with the gym because this girl needs to be on. So, before I get back to the story, check out renewyourbodybutters.com and make sure you check out and use my code KC Liam. I was going to go get my heels out of the car and come back and stand back in line at El Jefe, but we said bring it in. Um, before we even like decided to uh, not go, we had went to the ATM to get money out the car because at El Jefe, they only take cash payments at the door. So we was like, forget it, we're going to go to Mother's instead. Mother's is on the vision um it's a mixed bar as well but lately um they've been having like really really good djs that plays also hip-hop like black people music as well and it's been real lit and the crowd has been becoming more black as well and they're open till four baby we got there at what one o'clock 12 no like around 12 31 we got there we didn't leave till it was like in like almost in it was like 3 30 but it was most definitely fun it was lit we had a time last night, like I'm telling you, I literally broke my thumbnail. I picked up off the floor though, so I can glue it whenever, but I've been real comfortable with that, without it, with texting, so. But I'll be gluing it back on for sure. But it was so fun. Um, we were partying, we we were dancing like crazy. It was lit, they played a lot of the best, good songs. Um, I really like, one of my friends got sick. Um, I ended up getting sick from like drinking as well because I was sick the night before, so my dumb behind decided to drink me in. But I don't know. You live, you learn. Um, I actually did learn, but <laughs> you you live and you decide to do what you want to do, anyways. So uh, that we went to yeah, well yeah, we went to Mother and then I ended up um, oh my god, we ended up um, getting ready to go home. So we walked to the car. So my friends saw the so. I was too lit to drive, so uh, one of the um, more sober friends ended up driving. And I guess I fell asleep in the car like the whole ride, so we had to drop our friend off, which he lives about 25 minutes from me. So it was prob it probably took us 30 minutes to drop her off at home from the bar. And then it probably took us another 20 to head towards my house. Why the hell? The whole time I knew that I needed gas because I ended up seeing it earlier. I'm guessing my friend didn't pay attention to the meter. So we ended up running out of gas, which I'm not blaming her at all because I should have stopped and got gas before we even went to the bar. But we ended up running out of gas and being stranded at five in the morning, which I don't know how the hell it became five in the morning that we were stranded, but we were. Um, so my mom literally gets on the phone and tells me, girl you better use what you got basically like and i was dressed like my titties my titties was out <sighs> whatever so basically she wanted me to like stop whoever was like driving past um to help us we my friend ended up getting an uber um 
to the gas station to buy gas and a gas can and then but we really needed help because the gas wasn't coming out of the gas can it was spilling out the bottom but it wasn't going into the car which we didn't know what we were doing wrong anyways but um thankfully some guy stopped i'm thankful for him and yes he you know get my number because may need me just in case it may happen because i blew my man up at least 15 times and that man did not answer so it's okay you always gotta have backup i always have a backup no i'm just playing y'all um uh, we faithful <laughs> but no um he ended up helping us and come to find out that the battery ended up dying too because we left the car on dummy us but he ended up leaving i guess going home he actually didn't live that far which is weird because we down from my house so he lived close and that's not okay but he ended up getting um jumper cables but jumper cable well i don't know it was like a machine with um it with the battery thing connected to it so he automatically was able to like plug it in and as soon as he said it started i started it and he came right on so it wasn't even that dead like she really could have just came on if she wanted to but she didn't but let's get back into the skincare so i am going to be using the Renew Your body butter facial serum i have had this baby for a while i was using her faithfully before i ran out of the soap but I have so much love. Baby girl is going to last for a little while. But I'm taking this. I know when I did my first video, I did say um, use small amounts. And I've been having to remind myself and let myself know that this stuff is good. It's bomb. Do not like use so much like i really have to sometimes watch myself and refrain from actually putting so much on my face but i already know the skin is gonna be good it's gonna be clear i probably should have took my wig off first but whatever but anywho with the car we ended up start getting it started and we drove home at my house so she was able to drive home after and yeah that was literally my night and today i didn't do anything but go to my mom's and chill but the weekend was very much so lit i had like a lot of fun it was great it was amazing can't wait to do it again for sure right now i'm letting the serum um dry a little bit before i actually use the moisturizer but it is like 10 something. After this is done, I'm gonna lay down so baby girl can drive lit in the morning. And then I'm gonna go to the dollar store tomorrow and try to find some things, like some things to use for props. I want to get some tile, like some cute, um, I guess a little sticky tile and stuff like that. But I'm gonna look on Google first to see where I can get it from before I actually go to the dollar store because I've been having bad luck with dollar stores and stuff lately, especially like I'm crazy. And I may even get my command strips, like my hooks, to actually put on my grass wall because I've been procrastinating about that too. So hopefully I remember, maybe not, we'll see. But if I remember, I'm, I'm most definitely gonna try to vlog for sure. I feel like I let the serum sit for a little while. We're actually going to get ready to do the moisturizer. And it says directions for use, dispense a dime size amount of moisturizer and massage into the face and neck, avoid eyes and mouth, okay? So, I'm going to be pouring that dime size. And this is the rub it in, so I'm gonna rub it in. I do say applying this on is a bit hard. Um since it is a liquid, um, it's real liquidy and it's not uh like a thick moisturizer or oil or not even thick but it doesn't have a consistency, then it's harder to actually like disperse or like move around um but i don't i so far like the application it doesn't, it doesn't stink it doesn't have a hard smell it doesn't have a strong smell either but i did use the correct amount um i think my skin looks really really well thank y'all for sending me to the case of 
I do want to get more content out for you guys for sure. So let me know what else you want to see. I'm about to go take the wig off and we got to go to bed. Um, I had a very great weekend. I do want to do way more events. Um, disclaimer, I am planning on doing a event around the first day of fall. So look out for that. If you want to know when the first day of fall is, go ask Google. Because I'm not going to say too much. I'm not going to say too much. It will be a black tie affair. Red carpet for sure. So get ready. Save the date. Well, just, you, you don't have the date. But, you know, think about around that time. Is make sure you got your coin and make sure you got your outfit. Because it's about that time for another event. I'm just going to send myself through this same stress that I've been doing this whole time. But... This is something I want to do. It's something I like to do. I really love throwing events. I've been throwing events since I was 17. And they have been very successful a lot of the time. And I love it. It's something I really, really love to do. I love planning in general. So just look out for a lot more videos for one. Um, look out for a lot more boss events because that's where your girl's transitioning to. Some more boss events because I really like that. And it's really motivating and everything else so with that being said thank y'all for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe them two things is very free and very easy to do you can literally just do it like two seconds but i appreciate y'all back in the day